All right, we've made some revisions to the Meltoid. Um, I'm having second thoughts about the uh, distributor because right now the only way I can keep those beams firing hard for a for a long period of time to make it what it is, the Meltoid. Uh, it has to be weapons oriented. And then it just leaves me so... Like two pips do not keep up with the recharge rate of my bioweaves. Which makes it in turn... A pain in the ass. Three's out. Fours are out. Next pass is a hurt. Won't fall. Ah, not so much. He's chaffing up. Not this time, dude. That's a good hit. Yeah, he's fucked. That's why it's called the Meltoid. It does that to a vulture. <laughs> Ooh, I might get a hundred percent out of this one. Yay! Call the mortals. Let's just stay. Everything at a hundred is better than everything at not. successful. Module repaired. Two percent is the difference between flying away with your ship and looking at a rebuy screen. So yeah, I like to have everything a hundred percent. I don't need no failures until it's extremely necessary, and it's either time to bail or balls in one of the two. So this is especially important as a PvP. Re Everything. Yeah, but we just have to stay at a hundred percent. Wait, what? I want to repair your valve. Of course you can't. What if I? Okay, shield boosters, repair those. Module repaired. Module repaired. Module repaired. Module repaired. Module repaired. As you can see, we've done a revision of the ship, which now allows for better um, uh, staying power, we should say. So we have, uh, we switched the uh, the uh, surface scanner, which was pointless to have on a PvE ship. 
if you're doing the type of missions that I'm doing. Uh, and I put the repair limpet there. I made a mistake, I put a D for weight, but I'd rather lose the half meter a second. And, uh, yeah. I'd rather do that. So that's what it is what it is. Um, so we put the um, mm, collector limpets, the size three. So we get two collector limpets, one repair limpet. I just switch it to an A so I can have more repair capacity. Because the D it just it just gives me two percent hole, which sometimes I lose in some of these fights. I can lose up to ten percent because since I'm elite and I've been doing this for six years, everything that fights me NPC wise. Like, unless I catch some specific expert and, you know, it's always, if it's a mission target, it's going to be an elite. Especially the assassination missions, they're full of elites. Like, you could get by doing your massacres over at a hazardous site, even. But, um, yeah, those assassinations require you to, wait, why? I want a hundred. I don't care what it takes. One more limpet, that's fine. Now every time we do an assassination, don't get it wrong. They're stacked with the... Uh, yep. Stacked with that one. And I think they're stacked with this one. No, this one's done. This one just got done. So that got done, the only one running Yeah, the only one running is the 54 one By the time we're done with the assassinations, it would be close to being done Basically And then we just go to like, whatever sites And we're done with that If you do this, like, quickly If, if you get the, the hang of it And you start doing quicker and quicker and quicker This pays upwards of uh, two to 300 mil in an hour like a each board that you clear will give you 250 300 mil if if it's paying correctly when it's not paying correctly it'll be a small board and you'll get between a hundred and 150 for your hour of uh, clearing the board if it's a weak board if it's a heavy board it might take you two hours but you're making about 400 mil uh, once you get the hang of it, I clear in about an hour and 30 and I get the 400 mil out of it. Uh, there are exceptional cases in which four, uh, four mission givers have given me 30 kills for 40 mil each. And they've all stacked, so I kill 30 people and I made 120. That one time I made about 600 mil in an hour and a half. Uh, because there was that boost plus a bunch of other massacres that were stacked with it that were less paying there were 20s and 30s and uh and about 10 uh assassinations well paid you know five mil assassinations and in between that and the bounties collected after that uh, yeah it got critical because then i i remember picking up another half board because the hour wasn't over after the first, I, f I killed the board real quick. And then I went, well, I'm going to go for another board. I can, the hour's not done. I'm, I was timing it. So I go for another board, ended up doing that second, it was a mediocre board. It wasn't a full board. It had like nine more missions. But there were also stacked good paying missions. So I ended up bunking it up to almost 600 mil. I think it was uh, in the order of 575. It was on the high fives. 570, 580, some crazy shit like that. It was like, whoa, it's the most I've ever made. In combat, in an hour and a half, 500 mil. Just hand it right in, no flying around with cargo, no. Just 
your your money is there waiting for you at the station so even if you lose your ship that's that's the advantage of this above mining is that when your ship explodes you restart on your carrier you pay the 41 mil and then you go and get paid 600 mil or even a, a weak board 100 mil and you still won <laughs> even though you exploded because some ganker came and killed your pve ship you can't lose you don't lose when you do it like this you lose when you have 500 uh, void opals or 500 platinum in your cutter and you get ganked you lost the whole load all the money the ship and the time spent whereas when I die from doing combat the only thing I lose is some credits I get my ship back there is no cargo to be lost and I'm stacking missions making just as much if not more when you do it right when you've prepped your system long enough it takes about a week or two to prep a system for it to focus all their corporations into one single enemy like it takes manipulation and if friends can help you do that you manipulate the uh, background simulation to to do what you wanted to do and allow you to stack the missions against common enemies especially in systems where you have six, six seven even eight factions and uh, you start the first thing is you find the one or two first of all you don't do any missions that conflict one another you become the enforcer of peace on your system let's say you pick a system you enforce the peace you never run a mission that conflicts with any of the present uh, uh, factions because eventually you want good standings with everybody and you don't want them to focus on each other as soon as they do that they'll try to expand make sure they all expand into the same spot run only the missions that do expansion towards that one uh, uh, that one system that you want to be the target when that happens the one or two the controlling faction and the most influential faction will start fighting the main faction on the next system when that happens you start running only uh, assassinations wing assassinations and, and, and solo assassinations and massacres and you start stacking just the one or two guys and you forget the others the others you just try to keep your standing up with like donating money and and doing a courier this is why you're building up every time you turn in everything at this point money is not the situation money is not the primary goal the primary goal is prepping your system at this point you're going rep 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 once you do rep uh and you still have this common enemy between these two or three factions that you're stacking these two or three missions it's time to get the other dudes on board and you do that but by then manipulating the influence these other people have when the two or three that you've been running for even though you have everybody's reputation maxed out because every once in a while you run a little courier mission for this guy and you pick the rep you know you keep your rep up with every single faction in the system that you pick to be the home system when you do that they will follow suit uh, small assassination uh, missions will start appearing up amongst the other factions that don't have that common enemy towards that enemy they're starting to follow suit when that starts to happen you start running him and only those that affect that one you know you you're focusing all the corporations of the system you've picked towards attacking a single enemy when you do that you've built your potential to stack the missions if your rep is maxed out with everybody your payouts are uh, when it's bad you have two types of payouts bad payout good payout when it's a full board I call a board you know 20 missions you pick 20 missions out of your seven or eight agents 
when you have a weak board, you're you're doing uh, missions of uh, 30 kills to 48 kills for in between 20 and 30. That's the bad pay. The good pay is 30 kills for 40 mil, 48 kills for about 50. I don't do the the 68s and 72s because it's just too much time out there. Perhaps I'll grab one to stack if it's well paid. Those could pay up to 60 mil. Uh, so you think about this. Everybody attacking the same enemy. If everyone gives you a massacre mission. If everyone gives you... Let's, let's make it simple. If seven people give you... A 20 kill mission for 20 million. That's 140 million for 20 kills. That's how. That's how uh, mission stacking works when it comes to combat. That's how combat pays. I hear everyone complaining about combat not paying. I am a multi-billionaire. Not the greatest. Look, 1.8 in the in the wallet. Oh no, you only have 1.8. Uh, no, buddy. Look at this carry. There's ten bill in there. All right. So I have I have a, a carrier, which is a good what ten, twelve bill investment. I have some things in it. Um, I have over. I want to say over ten bill in ships. Spent in ships. And I'm building another. I want to build another. I don't know. 15 20 bill on my main wallet which is what I'm doing now uh, yesterday I did two boards uh, casually I wasn't even timing or anything like that I was at uh, 1303 I did two boards in like three hours I'm at 1822 so I'm sorry but Everyone that says that combat still a problem and that it, that it doesn't pay any lead is because they are have not done their homework and they are talking out of their ass because it's a lot easier to just look at a rock and shoot it than put in some work, enjoy the game, get some explosions, go pew pew, blah blah blah, the whole shenanigans. Now I'm doing it right now casually. This is what casual looks like. Casual, casual brings you 150 to 200 mil an hour, just like any other activity. Focused and like on point, like sharp, going at it nonstop. Uh, yeah, less risk than, much less risk than mining for sure. Because even the ganker that's going to come after you, you can defend yourself. Oh look, I got somebody that's going to try to interdict me. Let's get some scans in. Uh, preferably mission scans. Of course the B-star is filled with them. But that's a quarter million likes. Because that's a problem with this one particular spot. Of the many. Unfortunately for you guys that are always trying to kill me because I've killed you several times and I know it's not fair and all that good shit but hey you let yourself get caught with your pants down that's your problem something still yeah I was gonna say something's still in here and it won't tell me where it is Is that bad enough? I'm surprised the guy still has any dick me. I think he probably crashed on there. Oh look. I level 3 at 26,000. We'll lock it for now. That's gonna have like a few medium ships and it's level 3 but it's not easy. If it is the one, I think it is. If it's just one of the low level assassinations, then nah. But if it's the one where you drop on six or seven ships, oh, that's a group of three. I know what that is. There he is. 
But now we're going for the vulture first. As a matter of fact, we want to know. I want to know which vulture that is. Ah, uh, this is the multi cannon phone. Jesus, I was gonna go. Okay, well, this is one of the assassinations anyway. So this is. What I was gonna go for one of the vultures and start that process. I want to take care of this quick. So, okay, you're Copy good. that. Going live. Stand by. You, your route. Fire get him. Ready to go. Copy that. You select the target. I'll concentrate fire, Commander. those materials so yeah that right there it's how you prep a system to uh, to get you dank money on, on PvP I just killed this guy this guy just paid me probably let me see yeah I just killed him and he's gonna pay me. well he's actually gonna give me five biotech conductors and two and a half mil for killing him and he ain't addicted me while I was trying to get another one that's gonna pay me another you know four mil or or about you know level five materials which I'll then use to refill everything I have to refill because I need to get more engineering done on another ship we got cutter I got a challenger that I gotta build my crate MK2 needs to be finished and of course it's a missiles and rails MK3 MK2 MK3 Wow a crate MK3 will be nice and then a four damn all right one second guys I need my coffee I will be right back let the shield recharge. Is it recharged? Let's see. 